Who is a player that maybe didn't pop in the spring but has these past couple of weeks? Um, I'll say uh, one person I like on the D-line is – or two people actually is Toby because uh, he moved the DN and Travis Bates, uh, uh, he's new. He's a transfer, you know, them two on DN. They work hard every day. Uh, they make plays every day at practice. Uh, we got like a little, we make teams. You know, they're one of the high point players almost every day during practice. So, and then them two coming off the edge is uh, really nice and a, a new addition to the team. So I'll probably say Travis Bates and Toby also saw me. And where do you think you have made the most personal improvement so far? Um, Me? I'll say uh, in my past game, um, this offseason I've been working on my man. And then uh, with my position, I'm pr primarily in the post more than uh, other positions. So just my range in the post and then just uh, see ball, go get ball when it's in there and just tracking the ball out uh, when I'm in the post. So, yeah, I'll probably say that's where I've improved the most um, this offseason. What is your first impression of Jordan Riley? <laughs> Jordan Riley, that's my guy. Um, he's my locker buddy. But, you know, Jordan Riley, you know, uh, practice, one of his good things is he knows how to – he tracks the ball really well um, when he's at Jack and then on the field. Um, at practice, uh, he doesn't stop his feet when he's in the open field. He runs through tackles. Um, great uh, open field tackler. He knows how to fit in the box, uh, read the gaps where he needs to go. So he's a really good addition to the team uh, at that Jack position, you know. That's my guy. Uh, I like having him on the field. Uh, you know, that's, that's good. And when you have two experienced corners coming back, like Keenan and Jacob, does that allow you as safeties to play any more with play with any more freedom or in any way that you haven't in the past? Uh, you know, with them uh, being two experienced guys, uh, you know, like you said, it does. Now, would it say more free? But you know, they gonna handle their business when they out there, and you know, when they got their one on ones, uh, you know, it's gonna be a lockdown to their side uh, with them knowing what they uh, got to do on the field. And so, yeah, I would say, I wouldn't say free, but it's a good plus to have having two experienced guys that corner. So, yeah. Have you seen Oscar Romain improve from the end of last year? Oscar Romain, you know, um, but with him being the Mike backer, uh, he's taking a big role because that's a, you know, a position on the field that you got to communicate uh, with most of the time. And so I like how he comes every day ready to practice, uh, takes leadership at that position, and communicates with everybody. Um, telling us what we need to know, if we need to know the call, if we echo in the call or, you know, like what a Mike Backer needs to do. So I'm glad that he's taking that role with some um, leadership, and I like that about him, yeah. Defense. 12 practices in, just from start to where you guys are now, what is this defense doing best? Um, I'll say this defense is doing really good. At uh, With our defense, we need to – I like the way we communicate. We're not just communicating the calls and what we need to communicate, but we're uh, – saying tendencies that we might see in the offense, like if the back is scat, we're calling out stuff pre and post snap, uh, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, flying around to the ball. Uh, I like the way everybody's finishing at the ball, each play, 12 hats on the, at the ball, every play. Um, you know, that's, I like that's how we fly around to the ball because that's a good thing to have as a characteristic as a defense. You like to have everybody at the ball, not just nine people or 10, you need to have all 11 hats at the ball. So that's one thing I like that we do um, this fall camp. So, yeah. Uh, VJ, tell me about, um, you've talked a lot about the defense and you've seen a lot of offenses across the ball from you in this conference. What are the things that gives you trouble as a defense with the K-State offense? Um, uh, I wouldn't say anything gives us any trouble um, we might have a few mess ups as a defense here and there, but I wouldn't say nothing is really giving us any trouble as a, uh, a defense. You know, like for example, today, um, nothing was really giving us troubles. We might have a miss, somebody miss a gap, uh, fit in the wrong gap or whatever it is. But like I said in your previous question, we have all 11 hats flying to the ball. One, one mistake uh, might mess up a gap, but you know, if somebody's running to the ball full speed, that's just if everybody playing fast, it ain't going to do nothing but help at the end of the day and just uh, help that guy that missed the gap or whatever it is. So I wouldn't say we're not having any – the offense is giving any trouble. I wouldn't say that, nah. What does the offense do well? Uh, you know, um, with the addition of Dylan Edwards, we got more 
uh, versatile. We might put him in the slot, might put him to the boundary, might put him on like a slant route or put him in the backfield, give him a little swing pass. Uh, I like that addition to the offense. And then um, we've gotten better. Uh, I think most people see Avery as a scrambler, but Avery's gotten really good at throwing that ball. Um, that's one thing I'll give his props. You know how to throw the ball, you know how to sit in the pocket, throw the ball well, you know what I'm saying? Um, if he need to scramble, he's going to scramble. And he might be looking to run, but he also can throw the ball on the move. So I like the way they do that. Yeah, you came in with uh, with Jacob. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering where where have you seen the the greatest growth from him? Um, I'll say the uh, biggest growth with Jacob. Um, I just say overall, Jacob's a really good man player. He's good in zones. Uh, he knows how to cover ground uh, if he's ever in the post or whatever. So uh, I w I can't nitpick on something that he. Or I can't pinpoint something that he's really improved on. I just say his overall game this off season, um, with us working together in the off season, we uh, we pick something out every day to work on. So, just as an overall player, he's really grown. Uh, whether it's man coverage, zone, um, being in the run fit. Uh, so that I'll, yeah, I'll say that just overall player, he's grown. I wouldn't nitpick on or pinpoint one thing that he needs that he's gotten better at. So that he's gotten more vocal, which I guess was that hasn't come natural to him. Is yeah, you noticed that. Um, yeah, Jacob. Uh, the first few years, Jacob been a quiet person, but as he's grown um, in the locker room and he's gotten more trust, and he's became one of those older guys, one of the veterans on the defense. Uh, you kind of have to take that role to speak up more and um, call out stuff that you usually don't call out. You know, uh, but Jacob being uh, more vocal does help. Um, the whole defense, because he might see something on one side of the field, and with him, if he just be quiet, if he's quiet, he uh, everybody on defense isn't gonna know that. But with him being vocal, we might communicate that all the way around to the defense, and that's just gonna help us at the end of the day with uh, overall stuff that we see on the field. So yeah.